Lieben, ähm, ihr seid herzlich willkommen zu meinem äh, YouTube-Video. Heute wir machen ein Video äh, in Hagen. Ich würde euch gerne mal zeigen, äh, wie Hagen ist. Ähm, hier jetzt, äh, sind wir in dem Hagen Hauptbahnhof. So, uh, my dear ladies and gentlemen, um, today I'll be shooting a YouTube video in Hagen. And right now I am at the Hagen Hauptbahnhof, that's Hagen main train station. I hope you're going to enjoy this video because I want to show you a little bit about Hagen. So basically, um, this is the main train, sta main train station you're going to see in Hagen. Unfortunately, um, I was going to show you um, one of the type of trains you will normally uh, use when coming to Hagen you don't it doesn't come here that often it's called the ICE so basically there are three types of train which uh, you use when you come to Hagen uh, when you're using this train station there is the ICE which is the fast train there is uh, the regional express there is uh, the S-Bahn which is the slow train so basically the ICE is the more uh, most faster one and uh, well, the one that commits to like small localities all around is uh, the S-Bahn, which is a little bit slow. So, um, Leute, uh, my name is my dad. Bitte, wenn ihr uh, meine Videos uh, liked, bitte auf jeden Fall teilen, the click button, uh, uh, subscriben und auf jeden Fall mir in dieser Reise befolgen. Ich würde euch gerne mal ein um, bisschen von Hagen zeigen. Komm hier mit. So as I was saying, basically we are right now at, at the Hagen uh, at the Hagen train station. So uh, we are going to take a move out. Uh, we are just going to walk out into into uh, the main city center. So I'll just be filming myself while I'm going through this. So, uh, due to the pandemic, what I'm going to say here is that you'll be required, before getting into any of the trains, to always have a mask on and, uh, yeah, to try and keep social distancing from other people, to try and make sure that uh, the pandemic, the corona pandemic is kept under control. And uh, I'll agree, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this train station because it was basically built in, the, in 1849 as part of uh, to, uh, some other train stations around here to link them. So since then, uh, this train station has seen a lot of renovation. It is uh, quite busy uh, since ever then and as the Hagen city has been growing much busier and busier. So basically, uh, Hagen is a town which has a lot of uh, population from different countries with a lot of uh, historical background. You see a lot of people here basically with uh, like the people from Turkey, the people from uh, um, Albania, the Africans, there are uh, recently a lot of uh, Ukrainians. So it's, it's a city where you see uh, there's this multicultural living that people live together, you see. You find people from all nationalities. As you can see, we're just basically walking out of the train station. And I'll also uh, show you a little bit of the train station from outside. And uh, yeah, I say it's cool, it's cool. It's a nice building with a lot of historic facts. And definitely it's what to uh, to have a clue about it so as you can see guys oh that is beautiful man I love this building that is beautiful that is like really beautiful so Basically, when you get out of the train station, you have the possibility to to get into one of these buses where it will drive you to destination. Oh, that is cool, man. Oh, 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 oh that is that is hammer. I'm liking this. Wow. So Hagen actually looks like a beautiful town. I can see Africans. I can see uh, Turkish people. You can see. Uh, 
restaurants. You can see some uh, their secures. I mean, I'm just basically, I'm going to like, I think I want to get something. Let me try and get something from this kiosk. Hello. Hi, man. Hello. Yeah. So, let me see what I'm going to drink. I think I just want to have like a, a Red Bull. If I continue with the theme, you know. Yeah, cheers, man. So it's quite cool here with a variety of stuff you can get uh, uh, in this small case. So I'll go with uh, cook, cook, yeah, man. Hi, bro. How are you doing, man? Ah, so kind, kind English. Yeah, Leute. Leider, leider ist das Problem in Deutschland. Aber, 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 aber Arabisch. Ja, yeah, Bruder. Ja, uh, yeah, as you can see, I just came here on this, uh, in this kiosk. I just want to buy something to drink, and I just met this uh, Kurdish brother. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak uh, English. Aber, um, but there's no problem because I speak German, so we are going to, to, to talk a little bit in German. We'll do the translation for you. There's no problem. So, wir leuchten, Bruder. Oops, oops. Oh, super, super, super. So, ich mag den kurzen Video hier in Hagen, ja? YouTuber bin ich, ja? Ich zeige dir kurz. So, I'm just telling him that um, I'm actually a YouTuber and uh, I do uh, travel around the world. I do music as well. So, today I'm showing you uh, Hagen. And uh, yeah, this brother will be subscribing to my channel. Yo, man. Oh, and we like Geschäft, man. Oh, that's is cool. That's freaking. Very wichtig. Very wichtig. So it's just living. Man, we're still going to fight. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I have a lot of. I have a lot of. I have a lot of Kurdish friends, man. Yeah. Okay, man. So, so I'm just going to pay one euro fifty. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So, it's, aber Leute, das Problem ist, es gibt so viele Leute, die haben Angst oder die sind ein bisschen vorsichtig mit uh, Englisch. Aber ich sehe das so. English is one of the einfachsten Sprachen. So I'm just basically telling him that people are a little bit scared from English, but I see it as one of the most easiest language to speak. Okay, cheers, sir. Hello, hello. So, as you can see, I just got something to, to drink there. Wow. Hello, brother. Yo. How are you? I am doing fine. What about you? So, so. Okay. Uh, oh, you have you have Kunsha. Hello, bro. So as you can see here, as I was telling you about uh, how friendly Hagen is, you can see for yourself. So basically, we are right now at uh, it's called it's called a donut laden. So here you can basically buy like donut with uh, 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 like meat wrapped in uh, uh, type of bread. You can have different types of like uh, onions, uh, vegetables put into it, and different types of sauce. And that is quite cool. That is quite cool, brother. All right, brother. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. <laughs> Hello, bro. Yo, have a lois, man. So, as I said, I just met this brother, and the brother is saying hi. So, bro, bro, what is it? What is it? Oh, the, bro the brother comes out in Türkei and we we said that Deutschland is English and multicultural. So uh, we are right now uh, we are walking into uh, the main city city center where you have all the shops. So basically, if you come off the train station, you could either get on a bus where you drive into the town or into different areas. 
or you could basically just walk on foot. I mean, it's not far. You could basically walk on foot and just uh, just get into the shopping center. So as I was telling uh, you guys, uh, this is some of the things you tend to notice a lot around around the world. Yeah. You see people. Uh, so as we're walking into the, the city center, you see this is the kind of thing in in. Uh, so very important, guys. It's very important that you. You like and share this video if you really do enjoy it and uh, and do support the work we are doing oh man i found something here this is quite cool oh. hi hi bro how you doing yeah, man yeah. you speak english no no, no, no english no, german no, french french oh all right okay so we just meet we just met this brother here and bonjour, guys, bonjour, bonjour. Yeah, say, say hello, bonjour. bonjour, yeah. bonjour. So, but I found something very interesting here. I think I'm going to follow this brother. Yeah, I come I come oh, with him. Come. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hast du einen schönen Laden hier? Ooh. So guys, when you're in Hagen, there is uh, basically the possibility to come here and do your braids. I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. But there is something very, very interesting here. Um so guys, uh, when you ever come to Hagen, man, one thing very, very important, come to this shop. This is where you can do your braids. There's a lot of African stuff going on here. And I'm really loving it, man. Because you can see there is... Uh... Oh, this is cool, man. This is cool, man. Oh, and there's some like African products which are going on here. So we're just going over to, to say hi to the lady who owns the shop and you can see they're actually uh, doing what a lady's hair and this is so beautiful so as I'm saying again if you're in Hagen you want to do your braids come here so guys we're right now uh, in the shopping center of Hagen so uh, what you're going to notice a lot is um, you will see busy people of course who are doing shopping you will see uh, people from a lot of different uh, backgrounds, Muslims, uh, Hindus, uh, uh, whatsoever you want to call it, Christians. And uh, this is something which is quite cool about Hagen and I love it so much. So we are basically standing right almost in front of the Hagen Theater. And uh, what I know is that this theater you see here was uh, actually... I'm going to turn the camera around. So, the theater you see here, the building you see, was actually uh, totally or almost destroyed after the Second World War. So, a lot of people had to try and raise funds to uh, renovate, to refurbish this building. And in 2011, uh, they actually celebrated 100 years of this building. And this is something which I find uh, actually quite cool because these are one of the places to hang out with to come watch some theater stuff and all of that and uh, this is it's quite cool man uh, we're going to go closer to the building